Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduino. This time we want to connect our Arduino the first time with our computer yeah? and we want to see if we can upload one of our programs. Yeah? This is the goal of this video. So we have installed the Arduino IDE and we have opened it. It should look somehow like that what you see here. Yeah? So there are two things written, void setup and void loop. Huh? What's that? Well, this is so-called C++ syntax. Huh? C++, you can define so-called functions. Okay? And this function usually have a type of return type. Yeah? This is what you're writing in front. Yeah? So, for instance, int would be so-called integer value, yeah? so a, a number without commas, integer. Yeah? If I would define now a function, int would be the return value. Yeah? Then I need a function name, yeah? and I will call this function, I don't know, age. age. I can select simply a name. Yeah? I can simply select a name. That's it. Yeah. Then I could give also some arguments. Yeah. And I will write integer yeah, year of birth. Yeah. And if I want to give a second argument, I can do it with a comma and give another int. actual year. Mm -hmm. Now the function is defined. We have a function called age. We have two arguments. One is called year of birth and the other argument is called actual year and all of them are of type integer. Int it's called in C++. So numbers without commas. And then we have to define the so-called function body. This is just the name and the interface, yeah? the name and, and, and the parameters. And the function body must be written between two, two of those brackets, yeah? these pointy brackets. Yeah? That's a function. Yeah? And here, this slash slash, this is starting a so-called comment. Yeah? This is not, I can read, this is a comment here I can note anything I like. This is not taken into account. Whatever I write here, I can leave notes for me, uh, for somebody else who wants to maintain my code, and so on. Yeah? So, and a, a function usually returns something. In this case, it shall return the age. So I will the last line I will write return okay return and then what I want to return and I want to return the actual year minus the year of birth never forget the semicolon this would be a valid function okay a self-defined valid function This is how a function looks like in C++. And we have two functions already predefined in our Arduino code. This is the setup function uh, and the loop function. And you see, both are returning void, so nothing. Uh, they are returning nothing. And in both, the Arduino IDE even gives us already some hint what this is. Put your setup code here to run once. And then put your main code here to run repeatedly. What does it mean? If I'm using the Arduino and plug it to a power source, yeah, it will wake up. And the first thing which the Arduino will be doing is going to the setup yeah, and execute whatever is coded inside there. Yeah. We will learn how to code. This I will show you. Yeah. So whatever is there, it will jump to setup, execute the whole setup. 
If it's finished with setup, it will jump to the loop, execute everything which is coded in loop. If it's finished with loop, it will start loop again. This is why it's called loop. Loop will run over and over again. The whole time this thing is connected to the power source, loop will be executed. So one time setup, other times loop. This has, of course, a, uh, an idea behind it. Well, we'll get to this. So actually, I will remove this here now. Or, what is a, always a good idea, uh, is to save stuff. Uh, if a rule which will never get old is save often, save early. Uh, to save something, you can press here the save button, yeah, or in the file menu, file, save, save as. Yeah, you should know this. Uh, you're not new to computers at all. So I will press save. I will call it under, under programs. I will choose a name and I will call it three. I will start with the class name. Use three A A H M B I. Yeah. Then I will use my name. This is my my first program. Yeah. I'll call it the yeah, first program. <laughs> Ignitious, right? <laughs> save. Now it's saved. You can see it even changed the name here. That's it. Huh? So let's say I want to download this. It doesn't. What does it do? Nothing. Yeah? In the setup, there is nothing inside. In loop, there is nothing inside. Well, I've defined a function which will never be called somewhere, but it, this program simply does nothing. Okay. So how to get this program now to my Arduino? Huh? My Arduino is lying here, yeah. lying here on, on my desk. Yeah. Well, first step, plug it in, right? So, plug it in. Book. The Arduino will get to life. Yeah. What is happening? Yeah. What is happening? If you press the right mouse button on the start, right mouse on the start button, you can select device manager. It's in German here. Uh, show you once again. It's in German here. Right mouse button to start. You will get a menu. There's a device manager, Geräte manager. If you can open this, you have here connections. Com, Com and LPT. If you open this. And you see already, ooh, there is the Arduino Uno. This is good. Yeah. This means our system has recognized the Arduino Uno, installed the correct driver, yeah, and assigned a COM board with the number 8 to it. COM board communication board. Okay. If I unplug this here, you see it's gone. Yeah. If I replug it, look, it's there again. So we know our Arduino is connected to COM8. Okay, this we have to adjust in our Arduino IDE here. Yeah? So here under Tools, we can select here. Ah, it's already selected. Yeah? In your case, maybe not. Yeah. Here on the port, you have to select the COM board where your Arduino Uno is connected. In my case, it's even written in, in brackets, uh, Arduino Uno. I will use that. Uh, but, okay. And what I also have to adjust is my type of Arduino board. Uh, here you can select the Arduino board. Uh, there is a selection. There is not only one Arduino board, there are a lot of Arduino boards. Here I'm using the Arduino Uno, so I have selected Arduino Uno. Alright? That's it. If those two things are adjusted, then I can simply press here this button. This is the upload button. Book! 
the sketch will be compiled. What does it mean compile? Compile means translated into machine code. So the machine can understand it. Now we translated this human readable program into a series of bits and bytes and already uploaded it to our Arduino. And if you're looking at our Arduino, what does it do? Nothing. Yeah, of course. We told it to do nothing. Yeah? However, if you see, take a one closer look here to this RX and TX pin. I will press the upload button once again. And you see the RX and TX pins. Oh, they are flashing. Oh, uh, you have seen? Huh? If this is happening, your program is successfully transferred. Okay? So you can be sure this program is on. It does nothing so exactly what we expect with this type of program. Well, this is how you download. Yeah. So we are now ready. Yeah, we know what the hardware is. We know why we have to use it. We have installed the IDE. We can upload a program from our computer to the Arduino. So we can now really start to code something. Yeah, to make something more useful than say, please do nothing. Okay. And this we will do in next video. Next video we will do the simplest, simplest thing, a so-called blink sketch. Yeah, typical beginning example, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. This is how you start, blink sketch. Next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.